this university is not taking any tuition fee as the tuition fee is free of charge but there are critical information that you need to understand about this university for you to be accepted into this university note this is the first day in the month of may and i'm bringing to you another university that is still taking admission in one of the european country okay so i want you to sit back and watch this video to the very end because there are some vital information I will be sharing with you about this university and if you miss them your application might not be accepted and at the first place you might not even see how to apply to this university okay so because there are a lot of link that you need to pay attention to so I'll be showing you where you need to click and how you can easily apply to this university if you are watching this video right now make sure you click on that like button because that is the only way you can support this channel to grow right now okay and if you've not subscribed to this channel make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified when i drop a video for you on this channel okay so what is the name of this university and how can you apply to this university what are the documents you need what are the information you need to provide for you to be accepted into this university how can you apply what is the admission deadline for this university and what are the things that you need to apply to this university and when is the admission application deadline if you can see it right from here you can see that the uh, summer application this is the application period starting semester summer and the uh, applicants from EU are supposed to submit the application by this period and if you are uh, starting by summer as a non-EU you have to submit or have completed your application by this time which of this time has passed so we are focusing on the winter period okay so if you are going for this period then as a non-EU citizen you need to have submitted your application by the deadline of 15th of July okay so this school is going to start their admission application and when they start you need to get ready all the documents okay because there are a couple of documents that you need to get together as this university is not taking any tuition fee from you okay please I beg you please please for God's sake, make sure you click on that like button because this is how you can help to uh, support this channel. Okay? If you look at it here, you are regarded as an EU applicant if you fulfill at least one of the following. This is not where we want to see. Uh, we want to see this area where it says, How do I apply? First, you need to complete all your documents when you complete all your documents put all these documents together which is the first stage of this application when you put all these documents together then you need to complete your online application when you complete your online application you have to wait for decision from this university after you wait for the decision from this university and you get a positive response from this university then you have to react how do you react you have to complete the process once you complete the process then you start your enrollment at this university you have to note that admission application is different from admission enrollment okay so these are two different things that you need to do okay but before we start looking at this step one after the other let's go back and look at some of the programs that this university have okay if I go back to the master degree pages or master degree program page you are going to see that they have some programs here which is master of uh, master of education and master's program non teaching if you come to this page where it says applying you are going to have the application information here and if you scroll down you are going to also see this master degree programs non-teaching special case admission deadline and all of this information that is not the page we are going to now if you come back to this page where it says english thoughts programs this is the page we are focusing on as you already know that we are more concerned about programs that are totally taught in english if you look at here this is where you have to click and change the language from german 
to English or if you are looking at university that is from Italy or Spain or so just make sure you look for where it says EN EN means English when you translate to English then you have to come down here and see the list of programs that this university is offering right now if you look at it under the bachelor program they only have human movements in sports and exercise okay so that is the only program that they have under the uh under the bachelor program okay but under master program they have more programs that you can go for if you are planning to uh do your master's uh program okay so here they have business development just spatia technology geo information information system public sector innovation and uh e-governance pioneer they have physics they have sports exercise and human performance they have a lot of program under the master degree category okay so if your program is here then the first thing you have to do is to click on that program that you want to apply to so i will be using this information system program as uh, a case study okay so if you look at this program right here you are going to see that there are a couple of information that you need to follow for you to be able to apply to this university note that your master degree program is four semester and there is no tuition fee apply to this master degree program which means you are not going to be paying any tuition fee to study in this university what is the name of this university and where is this university located this is one of this is one of the university this is one of the university in germany okay germany is one of the top location for people who are trying to migrate abroad and they have a lot of university that is not taking tuition fee and most of them when you are trying to apply most of this university take a very low tuition fee uh, or low application fee rather and this university that I'm, I'm showing you right now is not even taking any admission application fee which means you can study for free in this university and you can also apply for free to this university okay so which means you don't have anything to lose if at all you are not selected into this university note that you must meet the prerequisite for the programs that you are trying to apply to if you choose any program and you must have an average of 2.9 uh, CGPA or better according to German grading system okay so you know uh, Nigeria Ghana West African grading system is more way complicated than all this uh, European country okay so I know uh, your point is going to beat this one down okay so uh, if you scroll down here you are going to see that proof of English language proficiency not older than two years okay so you have to get this right and it says no knowledge of German is necessary for MSc in information system, although it will be useful for you in Münster. Okay, so this is the University of Münster in Germany that you can quickly apply to. Remember, this is the first day in the month of May. So I wish everyone watching on this channel happy new month. Okay, how can you apply to this university? What are the application procedure? Okay, we've looked at the deadline so that you can get yourself prepared. Now, let's scroll down and look at the documents that you need for you to apply into any program. Okay, so once you click, let's go back to the English thought program. Once, let's say you want to study physics or let's look at public ed. So once you come to this public ed, you have to click on this link that says more information about that program once you click on that pro, uh, on that link it will bring you to an information page just like this one then you have to read the information about the program and also read the prerequisite uh, requirements about the program that you want to apply to okay so let's look at uh, this for example this one says the application is only complete when the following document have been included 
A level certificate or any other equivalent university admission certificate, bachelor degree or a list of courses that include 140 uh, ECTS, that's 140, uh, 140 credit points of a bachelor course if the bachelor course is not yet completed, which means if you are still uh, taking or if you are still under going your bachelor program and you are about to finish your undergraduate program uh, before this deadline uh, stated here you can still apply to this program okay and you also need your transcript or diploma attached please calculate the average mark and add a grading scale if the mark were awarded outside germany okay i think i mentioned this grading point system how you can get this grading uh, grading points or grading skill system from your university in one of my videos. So if you've not seen that video, watch uh, the last two videos before this one. You are going to understand how you can get the grading system. Okay. And also you need to get your transcripts. This is not the official transcript. This is just uh, the copy that you have with you. Okay. A detailed course description, not your transcripts okay so did the description of the course taken during the bachelor study uh, a fill out form analysis of curriculum in which the course of your first degree are assigned to the first subject so you have to make sure you see the first subject here okay so you click on this link to see this first subject then you also need to write a motivation letter in english make sure that this motivation letter does not exceed one page okay so when you are writing your motivation letter take caution of how many pages this motivation letter is taking just put it in a one page word document write about your preferred track also you need to include your curriculum vitae in this application if you want to study for free in this university remember a certificate as evidence that your English language proficiency reached level C1 in accordance with the common European framework is also required. This is just grammar. Get a language proficiency letter from your previous school. Okay, so from your university, just go there, get a proficiency letter that your programs were taught in English. Okay, and if your programs were not taught in English, then you need IELTS for you to apply to this program. Remember that all these documents are compulsory and you need to provide them. If not, your application will not move to the stage of being reviewed. Okay, additional document that demonstrates your special interest or qualification for this course is also required. Okay, so if you have any other additional document, maybe you've taken some professional courses that you want to include them as uh, a supporting document, this is also welcome. Okay, note that you must upload all these documents in your application before the application deadline and late submission is not going to be considered. So you have to make sure you work uh according to the admission application deadline this is one of the reason i'm showing you this content or this university right now because the application deadline is 15 of uh, july okay so if you go back here you see the application deadline is 15 of july so and the application is going to start in nine days from now so you have a good one week for you to put all your admission uh, documents together okay and this is the steps that you need to follow okay so once you get all these documents then you've gotten your language proficiency then the next thing you have to do right now is to make sure that you start your online application okay so i'm not going to bore you with all this information on this page you can go back on your own to read more information note that you have the uh the chance or you have the decision to take for you to either apply to this university or not to apply okay so i'm not giving you advice because i'm not an immigration expert i'm just providing you with this information based on information or based on research 
that I have made. Okay, now you need to wait for the start of the application period that applied to you. You have to see uh, below that is uh, the application start date, which is uh, which is coming very very soon, and you have to follow the link to the application portal. The link is only active during the application period. Okay. So you also need to know that you have to fill in the online application form and upload all the required documents in digital form, which means you have to scan all those documents that were mentioned above, then you upload them on the admission application page. Once you apply to this university, then the next thing you have to do is to wait to get a response. If you are a non-EU citizen, you can skip this process and go to the next step to start your enrollment since they don't have to submit their documents in physical form okay so you have to wait for the admission application results to be out after the admission period for the term have ended they will look through all the application and you'll be notified via email so you have to make sure that you provide correct email address this is one of the reasons most of this university always asks you to verify your email to be sure that you are using the right email address okay so once you uh get a confirmation email and you've been notified you are immediately accepted into the master program congratulations before you get a uh, definitive answer you might be invited to an interview with representative of the department to learn more about you okay so why are they doing this the more reason or the main reason they are doing this interview is to be sure that that language proficiency certificate you provided you can actually prove it because most people they will just get language proficiency certificate but they cannot even speak fluent english okay make sure you can speak english fluently and uh, make sure that the documents you provided are accurate and correct and legal okay so you have uh when you are being invited for interview uh, step three states you have sadly not been selected for our program and have received a rejection letter okay so uh, i pray that you are not going to get a rejection letter if you submitted all your documents you are not going to get a rejection letter okay so if you get positive response after your interview then you are to start your enrollment in your programs okay so which means you have to skip the remaining steps and jump to step, step six okay and you have to get ready for your interview don't worry we don't buy it okay we not the less wish you all the best for your future career okay so after this after you've been accepted into the program you have to enroll this step is not completed until your arrival in minster okay so when you get to these steps when you get your positive response this is at the point where you start uh, your visa application process okay once you start your visa application process then you start your movement to germany okay remember that you are not going to pay any admission application fee to this university okay so i wish you success in your application to the university of Munster in germany and i wish you success in everything that you do okay if you also wish me success in everything that i do please click on that like button and turn on the notification bell after you click on the subscribe button okay so if you have any question regarding this video make sure you drop the information at the comment box and when the university starts their admission application i'm also going to make another video for you to show you step by step how you can apply to this university okay so till then i will see you in another one peace